Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This video is going to show you how to go from a zipped SVG file to save it on your stick. So this is going to be a rather long one. Um, we do have um, individual videos that show you the breakdowns of each of these steps um, on the YouTube channel. Um, but some of you have requested an actual full video of all of the processes put together. Okay, so let's choose one of these. I'm looking for one in particular, this one. Okay, so I bring up, I find a file um, in one of my file folders that I have on my computer. Um, this is in my scrap chick. And all of her files come zipped. So what I have done is I have left clicked once on it and that will highlight it. Oops. Okay, so that's now highlighted. So I come and I right click on it and this brings up my right click options menu. Okay, I am operating under a Windows system. I have Windows 10. And in all Windows computers they have this extract all. Okay, so I'm going to click that. And this comes up. All right, so just come here and click Extract. If you do not have an extraction tool, come to our group and in our files section, we will have one in there for free for you. Okay, so once you do that, well, where in the heck did it go? Come back up here and let's have us a look. Is it up here? Well, no. Let's see if it's down here. Sometimes it'll put it down at the bottom. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we can double click this and it brings up all of this stuff. Well, we, oops, cancel this. We don't want that. But I'm going to come down here and let me see if I can pull this up here for you. Click on your folders um, or on your little folders thing. Bring up your folders in your computer. And come in here if you don't know which one you want we can pull it up in here here it is because we want to look at these photos okay so let's pull this up all right so there's that one the little arrow over here oh that one's adorable that one's really cute too that's a belly box okay so we know that all of those are available in this um, file so in this SVG uh, file folder all of those that we just seen the tag the card in the box are going to be available in this okay so there you go you see that they're all in there so let's just we'll click on this one oh, I tell you if my brain worked today. Let's go to this screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And click on this one. <laughs> and now let's see. Okay. Let me see what it brings in. Okay. So it brings in, looks like the front of the card. This is one of the big differences between Canvas and Shortcuts a lot. You can only bring in one page at a time. So I know that this is one one of the pages or, or one of the designs that said card one. So either I can grab this. So that is a cutting and drawing line. Okay, let's check on here. I'm going to edit this and group this and see if I can't do something. Okay, I want to increase the size of these just a smidge. Okay. Come here, ungroup. And then I'm 
group, start grouping by color. That's how I do it at least. I will group mine by color and separate them. Now you can do this and just repeatedly like pull um nope. Got some of that in there. You can um bring a color out, save it to your stick, delete all the other colors. Do you, you see what I'm saying? So you'll save the blue here to your stick, delete all these colors, then bring it back out, save the yellow, delete all the other colors. It gets a little bit confusing. That's why I prefer to use shortcuts a lot because you can do it by pages. Let me group this. I have to come back and get the eyeballs. <clears throat> no. no, undo that. I'll group those and bring them down. Okay, so now when I send this to the cutter, I know that I can put my blue paper there. You know, whatever color of paper you want, you have them in sections so that they match. All right, so now title. And I'm going to download. Maybe. That bothers me when it does that. Okay, now I do have the wireless um, 650 model, but I'm going to choose this one. It says download it to the PC, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to choose my stick right here because I already have it plugged in. And I have it named. So there's my stick. Let me see if I can lift this up for you to see. So there it is. It's on my stick. And I'm going to click save. And then I'm done. So now all of this is ready to be cut. So when I get my mat, I'm going to put my whatever color this is going to be. I'm going to put it from six. So a four by six sheet I'm going to put right there. And then it looks like another four by uh, I'll do like a four by five sheet of whatever color that is. So just measure by using my grids because these are never wrong and just put the pieces of paper according to what your grid lines will say. And I know some people have a hard time seeing them. The only way to really do that is to blow it up. So like this one would be three by three. So I put a three by three sheet of paper there. And you can even move this when you get it onto the actual scan and cut because you know that you can't move it outside of the mat. It won't let you. So that's the best place to actually rearrange these shapes to move them as close to the edge as possible. Okay. So I put a three by three there. Um, put a five by what? Five and a half here. Just trim it off though because you don't want it sticking out over that. And then just go according to that. And that is how I arrange the things. Um, I call it the lazy way. Um, because I don't like having to make multiple, um, why is that black? Um, I don't like having to make, um, or put multiple things down, um, and put the mat in and out of the machine multiple times. I like to do it all at once if I can. All right. So that's how you go about taking an SVG from a zipped file that you get from, um, SVG cuts my scrap chick any place like that unzipping it bringing it in here 
and then taking it over to your stick. And then when you put the stick in the machine, it'll all pop up for you, and then you can rearrange it as you need to, okay? Um, let's see, let's edit. Select all and delete. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another video now. Um, it'll be in a different video, but I'm going to do it on how to import an image file. Um, but if you have any questions on this, you can find us over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.